Hey everybody, Rick here. Today is June the 12th, uh, 2015. Sun's getting in my eye a little bit. So, today is actually going to be an experimental day for me. If you look at this big patch right here, that is all broccoli. It is starting to st hang over my green onions a little bit. So, I knew you could eat broccoli leaves, but um, I had never done it before. So I went to the internet, I went to YouTube in particular, because that's where I've been learning a lot of things. And what I want to do is cook some broccoli. So I went and uh, Google search, cook broccoli leaves, and uh, MPH Gardener had a video where he's cooking it in a skillet. And I saw a couple other videos where they're cooking it in a skillet, and everybody said it looked like collards. Well, here's my collards. Um, not toot my own horn, but I know how to cook collards very well. Uh, I don't use a skillet, I use a big pot and I will slow cook them for probably about six to eight hours. So that's what I'm going to try with the broccoli and we're going to see what happens. So I'll use some good old Big Mama Wyatt um, recipe uh, seasonings and stuff like that. So, and I have a lot of leaves here. I don't have any heads yet, but I'm really not expecting. Oh, yep. Now I spoke too soon. Look what's coming up right there. I see a real small one starting to show up there. But, you know, I probably should have really thin. Oh, my goodness. Ah. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is all news to me right here. I see in the, you see that head right there. So, okay. Well, I'm going to thin some of these out. Um, and make some uh, broccoli greens and we'll see what happens uh, and as for now I got my handy dandy shears and I'm going to do some cutting and then I will be back to you when I'm getting ready to clean them and cook them so alright I will see you guys in a few alright so I'm back here is my 5 gallon bucket uh, that always typically gets filled up. It don't matter what I put in it from the garden. It always seems to fill up. So maybe if I grow like just peas, you know, not the pod, but just the peas, I'd probably still fill it up. So this is my bucket. I'm going to dump it on out here into the sink with one hand. It's pretty good. Get it on out of there. Damn. There we go. All right, so I'm going to rinse them off a little bit. Uh, we've gotten so much rain here lately, uh, they're actually pretty clean already. Um, you know, maybe a few bugs uh, here and there. Let me get that one on out of there. A few bugs here and there, but they're actually pretty clean already. So, what I'm going to do is uh, take that big stem out of the middle of them and... Uh, oh, check it out. How you get there? See, that? I guess that neem oil... And that uh, BT Caterpillar killer didn't get him, but it's all right. So, you know what? I'm going to actually throw him on back outside. I'm going to give him the opportunity to try and get to my garden again. But uh, I'm going to take that big old stem out of there and uh, chop them up in about uh, fourths and get them cleaned up and get them ready to be put in the pot. So, uh, let me see what I can do with one hand. But... I normally just, I don't use a knife when I'm uh, stemming them. I just normally just pull that on off of there and uh, just rip it up in the force and then throw it off into the sink here and just kind of wash them on off. So, all right, I will be back when all that's done and we'll go on to the next step. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so I am done cleaning greens. That's my pot that I put them in. So those are broccoli greens. I'm going to move this on over to the stove, one-handed, let's see, yep, I got it, all right, and then I use cold water in there, so, but I cook, when initially I start everything on medium, and I'll let the water warm on up, and then I will start to get my spices ready, so, let me go ahead and put the top on for the moment so it heats up a little bit quicker and I will be right back with the spice list all right see you soon all right. I am back 
So I had to make a uh, run to the store to get an onion. So it took me a little bit longer than uh, I see it, but it's all right. So I left them uh, on medium while I went to the store. So as you can see, they're breaking down already. And just uh, about an hour ago is when I stopped the video. So um, I already put some of the ingredients in. Uh, one of them is uh, one whole onion. What I did is I have a food chopper thing that minces it pretty small. So I take one half and I mince it. And then I take the other half and I just chop it with the knife. And then I also, it's in there, I dropped a ham hawk down off in there. And I will let that simmer. So I don't bother cooking it beforehand because uh, it's cooked for so long. And then now I'm going to chop up four or five strips of bacon. So let me put my camera down. Quick. All right. Okay. So I'm going to chop up, uh, I'll say five. Bacon is one of them things that is actually a food group in this household. So the more the merrier with it. So three, four, five. Three. Now that's some thick bacon here. Yeah. That's what looks like about enough there, so. I use my fillet knife for just about everything uh, besides cleaning fish. So I'll just chop it on up into that there. And then I'll just break it on up, going on off into the pot. So, and I'll kind of mix it on up in there in a little bit. But that's five strips of bacon. So there's no rhyme or reason to anything. Because I actually go off of testing the greens, tasting the greens as they're cooking to see what else I may need to add and to get that right oomph. So this is the way I make collard greens, mustard greens, turnip greens. So this is my first shot with black broccoli greens now. So now I got that done. Now with the spices. Now there is no rhyme or reason to my spices either. I always keep my staples. So I got some onion powder. So I'll sprinkle about uh, about that much. That's, a, that's probably about a tablespoon. I'm guessing garlic powder about the same. So, I'll sprinkle it on until it looks pretty. All right. How about, oh, let's try that one there. I got some Mrs. Dash. Mrs. Dash is the seasoning food group around here. So, I'll sprinkle a little bit of that on. So, that's just a couple. That's more like a pinch, if anything. Uh, black powder. Black pepper. <laughs> black powder. Now, we don't want no gun. Uh, remnants up in here, so we'll get a little bit of black pepper and put that in there. That looks pretty enough. Oh, uh, let's see here what else. Soul food seasoning salt. That's a new one. And we'll put maybe about a teaspoon of that in there. All right. What did I use already? Uh, Creole seasoning. And I bought this one a couple weeks ago. I haven't used it yet. But I'm always willing to experiment. And smell it. It smells like it smells like lorries a little bit. Have a kick. So I'm gonna put a hair of that up in there. see here. Now, as far as salt, I like sea salt. Um, I just really got the acquired taste for it versus regular uh, 
salt. So that's about a teaspoon. Okay, what else we got up here? Um, now this stuff here, not that isn't it. I know it's around here somewhere. It's called Slap Your Mama. Slap Your Mama. Yeah, this stuff, it, it got a kick. So I just do a quick dash, quick dash, quick dash, quick dash. Yeah. Too much of that. I like my food a little spicy, but too much of that is like, whoa. Okay. Let me see here. Actually, I think uh, maybe a squeeze of lemon juice. Just, just a squeeze. Okay. Now here's what I do. Bouillon cubes. I use chicken cubes. I will take three of those and I will drop them on off in there. And get this package open. That's one. Alright. And that's two. And that's three. Okay, so I take three bouillon cubes, but I also use chicken stock. So this stuff gets used quite often around here. Let's see if I have any left. <laughs> Looks like I spoke too soon. that for preparedness for you. So I have no chicken stock. Well, that's all right. Oh, maybe I do. I don't know what is that. Ooh, there it is. All right. Back in the game. All right, there's my chicken stock. Or chicken broth, chicken stock. Same stuff. So... I guess my wife used all the other one. But that's alright. We got three of them up in there. Alright, so I will pour maybe about half a cup up in there. Go check it out. Alright, now I go and check my count or spice cabinet again. Make sure there's nothing else I missed. Looks like that's about it. Got some parsley, more Mrs. Bay. Oh, lemon pepper. That looks like a good one. Put a little bit of lemon pepper up in here. And that's about another teaspoon. That's about a tablespoon right there. All right. So that's my group. That's my food group, right? Or my spice group. Everything that I just put in. So and that's what everything's looking like at this particular moment. So as soon as this water gets up to temperature, which it just about is, so I'll mix that on in there. Oh, that, wow, that's actually smelling really good. Some <laughs> broccoli greens, who would have guessed? So mix that on in. And then I'll just kind of taste test and about an hour or so, see if I need to touch up with anything else there. But from the smell already, it's not looking like I'm going to have to. So, on that note, I am going to shut the camera off. And I will be back with the final product. So, and then I'll also let you know how long it took. Alright, see you guys in a few. All right, so I let them cook for about three hours, uh, really slow, and I always check the ham hock, see if it's falling off the bone, and it is, so that pretty much tells me that they are ready. I cannot tell you, <laughs> the smell is absolutely incredible. I never would have guessed it. So I went ahead and made a bowl already, uh, kind of the... Uh, prepare for this video but I have yet to taste them so let me go ahead and 
give this a shot. This here is broccoli greens cooked uh, in a pot like I do my collard greens, my mustard greens, and my turnip greens. Let me get this a whirl. All right, here we go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh wow, that is incredible. <laughs> that is incredible. Whoa. All right. <laughs> wow. Man, I gotta get another bite real quick. Oh my goodness. Mmm. All right. Y'all heard it from here. You heard it from me. <laughs> this recipe is winning. Charlie Sheen winning. Oh wow, that is incredible. All right. So I think you guys will really like this. This is just broccoli greens that I picked and cleaned them just like collard greens. Um, and put them in the pot, slow cooked them, put a ham hock in, put my seasoning seasonings in. And this is the final product. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go pick some more broccoli. I know what I'm growing next year, a lot of. So I have a lot out there now, but oh my goodness. I think I'm going to just de dedicate an entire raised bed to this. So, all right, guys. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.